All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to make a tabletop spinner from a Lazy Susan. Um, all it requires is three things, some glue or some silicone um, or some tape if you don't want to use glue or silicone and a cheap little glass Lazy Susan. If you don't, if you can't find a glass one, don't worry. Um, I prefer the glass ones. Well, actually, it's kind of all I can get around here is these little glass ones. Um, but I do really like them because there's only a couple of parts to it and they spin really, really well. Um, the momentum they get when they start spinning is actually quite good. I think it's because it's just got one centerpiece here instead of um, a lot of the ball bearings around in a circle. Um, look, the ones with the ball bearings around in a circle are also good, um, but they don't spin for as long as these simple centered ones do. So yeah, Lazy Susan, it can be timber, glass, whatever you like. These ones are basically 10 or 11 bucks from the department store or the cheap shop or the supermarket, wherever you might be able to find them. Um, readily available on Amazon and places like that. So just grab yourself a Lazy Susan. We're gonna be making a small spinner today, but keep in mind you can use um, any sized cradled artboard that you like. I've got a quite a big one, twice the size of this, um, as you can see from the paint on the table here. That's been flying out of it. Now, so that's the first part. The second part is the glue or the silicone or some sort of adhesive or tape, if you like. Um, even the messy kind of pillow paint that you see me using in my pores can, you know, you can get underneath there and can stick it on quite well and it doesn't really budge. But if you want one that's gonna last for a long time, um, we wanna secure it properly. So this is basically just a cradled birch panel round. As you can see, it's got a little lip in the side here, which is quite handy for catching the paint when it, um, you know, when it flies out. Wouldn't, won't be able to do very big pieces on something this size, but it'd be really good for tiles and six to eight inch um, pieces. You'll be able to spin on here quite freely. Um, anything larger than you'll need to get a bigger board to put on top of the Lazy Susan. Okay, so what I've got here is silicone and it's specifically meant for glass. Um, you could use bathroom silicone. It doesn't, I don't think it really matters too much, but seeing as I'm using glass, um, I've got an adhesive that, well, it's not really an adhesive, but it's a, it's a, it's like a gap filler sealant, but it's going to work perfectly for this job today. Now, if you're going, so basically this is going to be sitting on top of here like this. So to glue, you want to turn that over before we glue this spinner on or this lazy Susan on. Now look, this is going to be quite simple to get this one in the middle because we're working with a really small board on top of it. If you've got a board that's out here, you're going to need to make sure you measure um, in from the center to make sure that this glass is going to be in the middle because as you can imagine, when you turn it over, you want it to spin um, nicely around and around evenly. You don't want it to be off center because obviously when this spins, this is going to be kind of going out here like this off on an angle, so we don't want that. Quite simple for me to work this out. There's about an inch there around all the sides. So now, let's open up this stuff and get it on there. So this is the largest piece at the top here. It's quite hard to see sometimes through the camera if this is at the top or the bottom, but we've got our big flat area here that we're going to stick straight down, might pop a glove on, so I can just smooth this sealant around a little bit. I'm basically just gonna pop enough on there. Probably don't need like too much. I think it's probably going to stick quite well. Just a bit around the edge. I've never really used this type of um, thing before for this. I usually just chuck a bit of tape on um, or use a bit of my, my white house paint to kind of stick it on. But look, it's quite, it's quite dangerous. If you pick them up and the glass drops off the back, you don't want that happening. So 
I want to make sure um, it's not going anywhere. This is a bit stinky, this stuff. If I'd have thought about that properly, I'd put a little mask on, but hindsight. Oh my God, it is stinky. Whew. All right, so I'll put that away. Pop the lid on. Now it's just a matter of getting that in the center. Can definitely got a little bit of room there to shift it around before it dries fully. I'm just gonna stick that, push that down. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. It's quite stuck on already and I just wanna make sure. Yep, so that's pretty good. So see how it's kind of not, it's not shifting off to one side as it's spinning. That's really important for it to be um, centered. It's probably the most important part actually. So all I'm gonna do now is sit that there either way it could sit down like this or i might actually flip it upside down and it might have a little bit more weight of the board on top there um, and that's pretty much give that 24 hours to dry completely so there's no separation and that's ready to go so basically then i would grab my tile um actually what i might do before that is find a Fluid Art Co format to fit this size. One's maybe a little bit too, well, it's still gonna work. Pop that in there. Um, that way you don't have to scrape your paint out of here. You can just basically, it'll either dry on here and you can peel it off or you can wipe this down quite easily. Even if you want it to go a little bit bigger. If you put um, something in here, a little bit of paint or something that's going to make this kind of stick down. You can sort of wedge it down and, and make a little lip out of these mats and it kind of catches the paint so the paint doesn't fly off the edge. And then once again, you can just either scrape it off or let it dry and peel it off. And then basically we're ready to go. So we're going to pop a little mat in there, put our piece down, do our paintings and then she's ready to go. And as you can see, it does get a lot of momentum and it starts to spin quite freely on its own. You don't have to spin it very hard um, and you can control, you know, you can stop it and spin it whenever you like because there's no motor. And yeah, that's what I love so much about these um, tabletop spinners from the Lazy Susans is, um, yeah, they're just so easy to kind of move around. They're not bulky. Um, you can make any size you like. They're quite cheap to replace if they break. And yeah, I keep one on my table pretty much at all times. Um, whether I'm tilting or spinning, it's always always sitting there underneath, kind of as a little paint catcher as well. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, I'll catch you next time.